Hey everyone, welcome to Beauty Talk Tuesday, my first Beauty Talk Tuesday of 2021. Um, I am excited today because I am going to be going over my fave products of 2020. And I have had a lot of questions on, you know, foundations and what I liked, what I didn't like. And I figured I would just round it up. Some people had some actual hair care questions too, wanted to see like what my vibe was with um, hair products. So I gathered everything that I felt were the ones that I really gravitated towards the most in 2020. Now, for those of you that know me and have been following my journey, you know that I have really tapped into the clean beauty community um, just because it does our body good and it's better for us overall. Uh, it's better for our endocrine system, but you do you. If you like mainstream products, go right for it. Um, I just, you know, you leave the education up to either yourself or people like me that try to help. Um, anyway, so I do have quite a few products that I liked and uh, I want to get into it and dive in. So for those of you that are new here, uh, just know that I am a professional makeup artist. My name is Josephine Fusco. I'm based out of New York. I've been in the beauty industry for over 17 years. And uh, it brings me so much pleasure and joy to actually share uh, beauty tips and tricks with all of you, green beauty, clean beauty, mainstream products, a little bit of everything, right? So any questions that you guys have, please feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You guys all know how to reach me at this point. Um, but everything I list today will be on my blog at glowandglam.net. So you can actually get the full list and the links to everything there. Okay. All right. So let's go in with the first step of foundation. Now foundation is wonderful. I love it for many different reasons. Um, and, uh, there's a wide range of foundations on the market, but I, to be honest with you, 2020 brought us a lot of unexpected things. And, um, maybe there are a lot of you that really didn't wear as much makeup as you normally do. So you decided to start toning it down. And in 2020, um, I really gravitated a lot towards the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. It was my right hand. I absolutely love this. On my YouTube channel, I have a complete review on this. Um, I'm happy to share it with you. I'll put it in uh, the links in my bio so that all of you can check it out. But what I love about this Tinted Face Oil is that it's light. It gives you light coverage, a little bit of a glow, but it's not super oily. Um, just a little bit goes a long way. It is buildable. It has a little bit of uh, buildable coverage to it, maybe to like a light medium, but that's as far as it goes. Um, it's also clean. I like this because the ingredients on it are great and um, they're just very clean ingredients, giving you moisture, brightening to the skin, uh, overall tone. And again, quick, easy on the go. Just put a little bit on and you're ready to go. Okay, so when you're looking for something to just kind of even out the skin tone, it's beautiful. Now, when it comes to concealers, there are a ton of different concealers on the market, and there are some that I gravitate more than others, but I have to tell you that Hint Beauty is by far one of the best concealers, especially in the cleaner aspect of products that has come my way. So this is the Hint Beauty Duet Perfecting Concealer. Um, this is the shade medium. I have uh, other lighter shades, but it comes in a pot, super pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. Great for spot treatment, um, great for under eye dark circles. Um, just Their concealer is awesome. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, you definitely have to pick this up. It's great, and especially it's a cleaner beauty product. Next up, I have um, blush. So you all know that I love Crunchy. I think that they are a fantastic beauty brand. Uh, I stand behind what they believe in and how they advocate for cleaner beauty, but their blushes do pack a nice pigment and a nice punch, um, and they're good for you. So I have to say um, that their Crave blush was an all-time favorite of mine in 2020. Um, this was one that I really didn't put down a lot um, because I just love the pigment on it. And for those of you that like Nor NARS Orgasm Blush, this is like a dupe to that. So you found something in the green beauty aspect, okay? Super, really looks beautiful on the skin, gives you that nice glow, a little bit of that pink, a little bit of that peach. It, it's just, it's the perfect shade. So I absolutely love this. Now, you guys know that I love a nice highlight. I love to have a nice glow on the skin. If you see a little bit right here happening, um, I absolutely was impressed with the Afterglow highlighter 
from Crunchy, okay? So Afterglow, this is, sorry, it's a little dirty, but I use this all the time, but this is like your golden glow, your golden hue that you're going to get on your skin. You could use this all year round. It's beautiful. I've used this as a highlighter to my brow bone and eyeshadow, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, but I usually tend to always put it like right here to give myself a nice, really nice glow on the cheekbone and they are pigmented. So um, I have to hats off to um, Crunchy for the pigmentation um, on their products. They're great. Next up we have mascara. Now you guys have seen me rotate at quite a few different mascaras, but I have to say my favorite one, all time one of 2020 was the Ilia mascara. I have mentioned this in other um, blog posts and um, videos that I have done and they really knocked it out of the park with this mascara. You can totally pick this up at Sephora. Um, and what I like about it is that there's two wands. Uh, on the wand, there's two sections. There's one with the bristles have a comb, and then the other one has like a, your average um, uh, bristle for a masca mascara. And my lashes become full and very long with this mascara. It is a game changer. If you guys have not tried it, totally give it a try. It does not, um, it doesn't bleed onto the lower lash line. It's amazing. So this is definitely uh, one of my best beauty products of 2020. Now let's go into skincare a little bit. Now you have, if you followed my skincare series a couple weeks ago before the holidays set in, that I have been going over a ton of different products for skincare, things that I like, things that I don't like, and I am going to now again mention the Beauty Bio Rose Quartz Roller. Um, I have a whole video on my YouTube channel on this. I think it has about over 40,000 views on it. Um, but what I love about this is that this is pure rose quartz. It's great for lymphatic drainage on the skin. So if you're looking to uh, drain the skin of any puffiness, uh, it is wonderful for that. It's also wonderful to actually help your skincare products absorb better into the skin. Now. There was quite the craze this year uh, in social media about um, uh, ice rollers. Now, you can go and certainly get some on Amazon or Nordstrom, but I'll be honest with you guys, you can totally put this in the fridge and utilize this as your ice roller. You do not have to go and get like a separate component to using your rollers, okay? Uh, we're all about double duty here. Um, I love products that can perform in optimal ways for myself. I try to find tips and tricks on how to utilize products, but this is ideal. Um, you can totally use this cold, and you know what Beauty Bio has? I think they have the like mini refrigerator, which is amazing. I don't have it because I have everything stored a certain way that I like it, but if you're like into cooling your products, um, your skincare products, uh, they have this like cute like little mini fridge that they have. So anyway, Rose Quartz Roller, excellent. I do my neck, my face, my eyes, lymphatic drainage. You can sleep with this, guys. You can put this um, by your bed at night. Rose Quartz is the healing, uh, it, it offers healing to the heart chakra. Um, so anyway, I have a bunch of information on my YouTube channel regarding this. Just let me know. I will try to link it below for you guys and in my profile. Next up, in 2020, I treated myself um, for my 40th birthday to the Foreo, um, the cleansing uh, by Foreo, and it is um, amazing. So this is the Foreo Luna 2. If you guys have not tried this, this is phenomenal. This offers a deep cleanse to the skin without over irritating it. It has a bunch of bristles on here that are amazing. Sorry, you have Facebook on live with me at the same time. And then when you turn it on, you can hear it vibrates. So it pulses, okay? And what'll happen is, is that your um, face wash will um, turn into like, um, almost like a sudsy foam as you're washing and it really picks up all the impurities on the skin. At this point, I like to do this about three times a week. Some people do it every day. You have to decide what is the right way for you to do it. For me, my recommendation is to start off once a week for a few weeks, see how you do, see if your skin's not super sensitive to it, and then go into twice a week, again, a few weeks, and then go into three times a week. And then you decide where you see yourself, okay? But this is amazing. It really does a deep dive in getting off all the impurities of the skin, and it makes the skin feel amazing. A lot of people treated themselves for Christmas after hearing my recommendation on the Luna uh, 2 by Foreo and I have gotten such great feedback on this because you guys have loved it okay all right so now how could 2020 be not 2020 
in terms of my favorite beauty products without talking about skincare and essential oils. Now, you know, I have so much passion about behind uh, essential oils because they have been a game changer for me in my own skincare routine, but my clients as well. All right. And my followers on here that have decided to sign up and start their skincare journey with me. Um, I will, I'm going to go over only three, um, because I find that <clears throat> these have made the biggest impact in addition to some other stuff. But number one, we cannot let go of frankincense. Frankincense is something that I will never let go on my skincare routine. You could spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a skincare treatment, uh, skincare products in the uh, store. I promise you that frankincense will offer you the most anti-aging benefits for cellular repair and cellular damage on the skin. It is phenomenal. I will only use doTERRA's essential oils. If you guys have followed my journey, you know that I've used other oils in the past with uh, no really good success. Uh, doTERRA to me is the cleanest on the market and I trust them fully with my skincare products. Okay. So, um, one drop AM and or PM for cellular rejuvenation, cellular repair on the skin. Second, I'm going to go in with, um, cedar wood. Now, a couple of months ago, I actually did like a quick reel on my Instagram and it got a lot of views and I got a lot of messages, but cedar wood, uh, was, I was introduced to cedar wood this year as I was studying more on essential oils and what I liked for skincare. And cedar wood comes in as a wonderful calming oil, um, but it's excellent for acneic skin. So you can add one to your drop, one drop to your moisturizer. But what I also love about it is that it's very toning to the skin. So anyone really could use this. And I started using this in my PM routine and it was awesome. So I'll tell you a little bit about um, cedar wood. So cedar wood uh, contains something called cedrol. You guys don't really need to understand all this. This is just uh, stuff that I research. And uh, cedrol is considered a sesquiterpene, okay? A sesquiterpene alcohol, um, which has been studied for the relaxing and skin soothing properties. So just with that said alone, this has been a game changer for me in my 2020 skincare routine. All right. Any questions on the essential oils, you know that I'm here to help you and help you get signed up um, so that we can start your journey. All right. The other oil that I want to mention is yarrow palm. Hold on one second, guys. My battery's running out. Now, yarrow palm essential oil, why I love it so much is for a few different reasons. I don't have the bottle in front of me. I'm sorry, I got so excited. I forgot to bring it down with me, but Yarrow Palm is phenomenal at its antioxidant support, all right? And what's in Yarrow Palm essential oil? This has been a game changer for many of my clients because it has yarrow, okay? And it has cold, which also comes with cold pressed pomegranate seed oil. So it's gonna give you a soothing to the skin any skin irritations, any redness, but it's very high in antioxidant support. So I get a lot of questions about all of you that are into these vitamin C serums um, that probably don't contain full, pure, potent vitamin C, right? So let's enter into Yarrow Palm. Let me tell you a little bit about Yarrow Palm. So Yarrow Palm is high in shimazoline. What's shimazoline? Shimazoline will protect uh, the cells from stress. So if you have stress on your skin, depending on whatever you're going through in terms of your skincare regimen, dry skin, normal skin, irritated skin, redness, shimazoline comes in and helps protect the cells on the skin. So it also prevents free radicals from wreaking havoc on the molecules. So that, that's why we're looking for skin smoothing uh, oils. You will have it in your yarrow palm for that reason. It's very high in antioxidant support, much higher than probably any other uh, product that's on the market in terms of antioxidant support. And it's also high in fatty acids, which come from a fruit source. So just imagine putting those on your skin, how amazing the benefits will be for your skincare. So uh, I like to actually utilize this at night. Some people like to use it in the AM, but if you guys are ready to start your skincare journey with essential oils, you know that I am your go-to. Just let me know and we can get you on a really nice regimen and start slow. Um, and uh, I will link everything up uh, for you guys to reach out to me um, or just comment below. Let me know if you wanna get started with your journey and we'll go from there. 
The other thing that I love and highly recommend in 2020 is uh, collagen peptides, okay? These are from Vital Proteins. I use these in my smoothies, my, uh, my, uh, my shakes, whatever I'm making. Um, you could drop this in your coffee. I did a huge uh, live with Dr. Elise Tercy and we were talking about all the benefits of using collagen and really how it helps the body uh, and how it's great for the skin. So I have, I just through the years have really fallen deeply in love with Vital Proteins. That is the brand that I like. I have yet to find another brand that I feel um, it really is tasteless. Um, and also um, it doesn't get chunky in the uh, whatever I'm mixing it in. So what happens is two scoops will give you 20 grams of collagen peptides, which is wonderful. I will also link up in my blog post um, the two videos that I did, one with just me speaking briefly on why we need collagen peptides, collagen in our diet, and how great it is for anti-aging, skin plumping of the skin, making the skin look good. Um, and then we did a deeper dive, Dr. Tarsi and myself, um, and I will link both of those in the blog post for all of you, okay? Um, in addition to that, I did get some questions about hair. Now, hair is not my thing. Um, I love hairstyles. I try to, you know, uh, do different things on my hair myself. Um, but um, when it comes to the cleaner beauty aspect, it's hard to find a really good shampoo. At the later part of 2020, I went and purchased Evolve and uh, shampoo and conditioner. This is phenomenal. This is by far the best shampoo, clean shampoo and conditioner that I have found on the market to date. Um, so let me just show you guys. This is the one for um, colored hair. And what I love about this is there's no parabens, there's no silicones, there's no panthenol, no phthalates, no exothalates, cruelty-free, cruelty -free, sulfate-free, and vegan. So I think that this was uh, brilliant. They really made a good shampoo and conditioner. I have to wash my hair twice with the shampoo. When you're looking into cleaner brands, sometimes it doesn't give you that much of a lather, lather on the first go-round of washing your hair. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the, the condition a little bit goes a long way and it's amazing. Now when it comes to styling my hair, um, I was introduced to one of these curling irons by my hairstylist that cuts my hair, Sam on here, she's following, um, uh, if she's watching. But there were two things and I got a lot of questions on people saying that my hair looked really pretty in a couple of my videos. So um, this year, I guess the beach wave went, you know, into so many different areas. Um, and there was so many different ways to style it. Um, so let me show you guys um, two products that I loved for uh, giving myself a really nice beach wave. So this is an older product by Bedhead. This is called A Wave We Go. Now I will link up in my blog post the uh, newer one that they came out with, but it has been a total game changer for me. You basically just put your hairs in here. It gives a little bit of that crimp or if you're like me from the 90s with your hair crimping, um, but you can also use this as a beach waver. And it has different settings. So I think the one that's on the market now is a little smaller than this. So what I did is I would do three quarters of my hair with this. And then what I did <clears throat> is I would go in and give myself a nice little curl. And this curling iron was recommended to me by my hairstylist because every time she does my hair, it comes out amazing. Um, but, uh, this is, uh, the Babyliss or Babyliss, uh, pro. I will link it, um, on my blog post. Okay. So yeah, Babyliss pro, it says it right here. And I basically would just do a couple of curls on the top. Now, when I'm in the mood for a wave or just a curl, this is the one that I go to. So these are two, I feel that I would highly recommend everybody invest in because they are game changers, especially if you're looking to do something nice for your hair, you want to spruce it up or change what you're doing. So anyway, that's it in terms of my favorite beauty products of 2020. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I think that these are great all around. I feel like these are great for the everyday woman or the woman that loves makeup. So um, any questions, please let me know. I will be back on here for my beauty talk Tuesday. I'm hoping either next Tuesday or the Tuesday after. Um, let me know what you guys would like to see next. I will be working on that for all of you. And, uh, and that's it. So have a great day. Thank you for joining me live. And uh, don't forget, you can get everything on my blog post at glowandglam.net. See you guys soon.